welcome this is the energy vibration lesson for the um, Pisces Sun Moon and Rising I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back this is the month of February happy birthdays for the Pisces who were born in February happy birthday um, the last two weeks of February you have the energy of the moon and the energy of the Sun so this is going to be wonderful that the, the third week is going to be an intuition week for you guys and the last week is going to be a positive positive week because the energy of the Sun success for you guys so let's go in here read and thank you for being here please like share these videos and I'm asking each and every person out there to thumbs up likes and shares and if you'd like to have a personalized reading please um, use the website the link is below and uh, um, and um, order your reading now finally 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 uh, the email is working so you can just email your um, full name date of birth and um, uh, the questions that you want and finally I want to thank and I should thank the people who um, as, uh, um, work hard on that for um, us okay um, it is a fire energy month um, not to worry you Pisces who are having birthdays in this month and the rest of the Pisces you know it's 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 a month of the um, karmatic situation the wheel of fortune and uh, um, the energy of the chariot okay and this is good because it's going to be for the people who were born in the last two weeks of February it's going to be um, positive for you guys okay so let's look your energy is a water energy and it's just the energy of judgment now this judgment can be very good for some people okay and this judgment can be information this judgment can be an alien because um, judgment is um, like an alien of a past karmatic situation that is going to come up and happen okay so let's go ahead it is four weeks in this month and let's see what the Pisces so let's call upon the angels and guides of the Pisces and the ascendance masters and godliness of the Pisces to come forth and bring your messages for the first week the energy of the first week is the tower and the first week of February you have the energy of the tower and what is happening is that um, the tower is removing away people things and situation that no longer serve you and is bringing forth a new beginning for you so you're turning your back and you're and that because of the energy of the tower it's removing certain situations and people who were in your life and it's moving it out and now it's bringing in positive energy and positive people so this is very very wonderful for the first week so um, it's all about work also that new um, endeavors new projects um, and people who are looking for work it's going to be happening for you the second week it is the energy of the star the general energy of the star you guys have the ace of swords congratulations Wow no one else has had this energy of the sword I uh, honestly honestly I have not received congratulations a new starts the ace of sword in the um, second week and um, the second week is the energy of the star and the energy of the swords come out so you have victoriously overcome because you're starting a new beginning new things are happening for you and you have used the energy of the ace of swords and you are victorious and success and triumphant over obstacles and things that was placed the energy of the star bring this energy of the ace of swords isn't this wonderful oh my god yes it is beautiful it is beautiful so let's move forward and see what is happening in the third week because that's when your birthday begin and it is the week of the moon you have the ace of Pentacles oh my god you rock you rock oh you Pisces no one else I can't remember to have the ace of Pentacles and the swords beside this this is going to be wonderful for you Pisces congratulations congratulations hates of swords and the ace of Pentacles. isn't this wonderful this is beautiful this is 
absolutely beautiful absolutely wonderful this is positive 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 situation that is coming for it for you guys isn't this good yes it is so I'm calling up and asking what is it for the last week for the Pisces because the last week for the Pisces is the energy of the Sun so let's see you have the wheel of fortune oh my gosh oh my I love you Pisces <laughs> <laughs> congratulations you Pisces and I told you guys I told you guys that sometimes um, judgment can be good because this is the most profound reading so far um, that is happening okay and this is the first major arcana you have in your layout because and the Sun met the wheel of fortune this is going to be a grand month for you guys and this is good because you Pisces birthdays are in uh, you guys birthdays are in um, this month the two last week and you have the ace of Pentacles before you have um, uh, the ace of swords so this is wonderful because whatever the situation that is transpiring whatever is happening the ace of sword is always truth mental clarity the truth and mental clarity but it's also um, you know when lightning strikes the whole world seems to light up for just one second it's as though you can see everything and this vision lines you on even through the storm such is the power of the ace of swords your mind will become clear your thoughts will become thing it's a great time to make those decisions you have been putting off isn't that wonderful yes yes it is and then you have the energy of the ace of Pentacles I have not had this in quite some times um, with the two A's right beside each other this is um, extremely extremely wonderful the ace of Pentacles I love this because the energy of the ace of Pentacles is always a time when um, prosperity begins so in the third week um, ladies and gentlemen prosperity is going to begin for you guys because the ace of Pentacles is saying that prosperity is about to begin in the center of even the giant red oak tree a thin um, seeding once stand such is the energy of the ace of Pentacle it's the seed that takes root growing you for the future you're in the beginning phase of prosperity prosperous ventures stay in ground go outside and take time to appreciate nature's you may also find a windfall of wealth heading your way I love you guys and you know as I've always tell and I've said to people my best friend in the whole entire world which is my mom and my hero is a Pisces and I, I have so many fa uh, family members that are Pisces my grandmother was a Pisces also so there is so many Pisces that is in my life my partner is a Pisces so it's, it's, it's wonderful I, I, I love Pisces people whenever they're vibrating on um, a good energy vibration I love Pisces people um, and it's, 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 it's so positive the you know the wheel of fortune is really destiny is your destiny it's a change of a course in your life it's always a child a change okay so if you were going through challenges and things then the change is coming in where it's bringing through it's as if it's kind of letting that um, behind and coming so 
further day and night you know the wheel of fortune is always in motion always in motion and this is very good because obviously there has been situation that is transparent and happening in your life and you're leaving that behind because this is 2018 for you because you're beginning the year with the energy the people who are born after March the end of March they seems to be transiting in another year which I have to explain to a lot of people how that works so what is happening it's a possibility to go for months or years you know in a certain and now um, the wheel of fortune is bringing you um, positive thing and the wheel of fortune with the Sun is just um, one of those really really promising and one of those good things that are happening because the wheel of fortune with the Sun is very good because um, um, you know the energy of judgment is forgiveness the energy of judgment is forgiveness is is forgiveness because um, of certain things that has happened the energy of the Sun with the wheel of fortune because the wheel of fortune is your destiny and change the last week general energies is the vitality the enlightenment the Sun is vitality and enlightenment and it is bringing you to a, um, a different place in your life which is going to be good your reading is going to be long I'm so sorry so let's go on and let's see because this is a month of forgiveness this is really a month of forgiveness that is happening for you guys so let's see what does the first week and the second week has in common and it's going to connect to, and it is a change coming in for you guys uh, balancing and change because the three of ones and you're leaving something behind and you have the energy of the ace of swords coming up so you are balancing out certain things and changes are coming up because at the end of the month the wheel of fortune is here that is going to bring you promises and luck um, I love the energy of the ace of swords It's one of my most um, favorite card in the deck because in the swords energy because the ace of swords is always using your intellect and communication to cut through certain things and to move certain things out of your life let's move forward and see what the ace of swords and the ace of Pentacles has my I uh, I told you guys I told you guys I told you guys the ace of swords and the ace of Pentacles this is a new business if you are about to start any new business um, do it in the third week and in, in, in the third week because you're going to be extremely successful okay if because um, what a lot of people don't know is that the Pisces are one of the richest um, people on this planet you are going to be so successful in business whatever business venture you're going to bring your financial stability to balance you're going to balance out your financial stability it's going to be a very wonderful very good very perfect wonderful new situations that are coming forward for you this is going to be good this is going to be positive this is going to be wonderful um, a lot of um, success in a materialistic world but success in um, your career a lot of promotion a lot of um, achievements are going to be coming up so um, between the second week and the third week this is going to be happening for you guys and it's going to be extremely wonderful let's see what is happening with the um, ace of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune let's see what is happening for the ace of Pentacles and the wheel of fortune you have the seven of cups new possibilities new opportunities the dream the Sun and moon is here and it's going to be helping you out because you're going to be connecting with the unseen world Um, I love I am so in love with this card because I'm not sure if a lot of people see this the Sun is on the, the heart and the moon is above but it's as if there are mountains that is you know it's not like it's like this it's not like it's like this it's like this which is the opposite so it's as if new possibility new the Sun is now um, the uh, the mountains are you know on top of you but 
underneath you is the energy of the Sun and good vibration that is coming out and this is going to be positive and wonderful so um, a lot of new financial endeavors if you're looking for work it's going to be a good good month if you're looking to find extra work if you want to start your home business it's going to be a good good month a lot of positive energies are coming in a lot of positive situations are coming in and this is going to be extremely extremely good so this is going to be wonderful so let's look forward and go forward and see what else is happening the energy of the eye princess is coming in um, to help you transit uh, transit through um, the positive energies that are coming in because you have the energy of the two of Pentacles with a balance uh, and you have um, you have justify and you have used the sword of justice and you have justified and you're using the energy of the two of Pentacles to balance out certain things and with the um, energy of promotions and I the eye, the eye princess is coming in to awaken your intuition because the eye princess with the ace of swords is as if it's um, um, giving you um, certain intuition drive and, and, and things to do and, 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 and changes to be made um, because you have um, this victory. It's opening up your um reality consciousness and this is um, extremely positive so um, this month for you guys is, is going to be good it's going to be extremely good so um, let's look and see what is happening with the Empress the Emperor your work situation your stability what is happening and um, for you ladies and gentlemen over the age of 40 is going to be very very successful for the um, the ladies and gentlemen over the age of 40 is going to be extremely extremely successful extremely successful um, the for the people who were born um, and for the people who were born in um, um, the February um, from the 19th until the end of February which is 29 days this year um, it's going to be a you know a lot of success a lot of success a lot of victory and triumphant and success in your work in work okay in work um, financial abundance is going to come um, uh, your guides and your guiding angels are going to be um, with you showing you the way forward as how you can be a success because it's all about work in this month it's all about work it's all about the stabil it's all about the success and stability in your life so it's going to be all about work in this month it is the main vocal point of what is transpiring in your world and let's see what is the outcomes for this month oh my gosh the outcomes is the eight of Pentacles um, you guys will be the nine of Pentacles you guys will be hard working money you are going to be financially um, money is going to be coming at you as if out of nowhere Wow ladies and gentlemen this is a wonderful wonderful um, reading um, it's a very very positive reading it's a wonderful energies um, I it this is so perfect um, you are going to be um, very successful in whatever endeavor you're going to try out in uh, this you have the energy of the six of swords you have come to the end of the situation justice balance um, this is good um, this is really wonderful there has been a situation that has been um, you know work against you and that sort of a thing and now you have come to the end of it and justice prevail justice prevail so again it's a wonderful month and again I should say to a lot of people um, you have to be aware of what is um, actually happening for you because um, 
there are a situation that is happening around you and um, you need to be aware of the situation because obviously there has been um, certain situation that has um, transpired that you were not aware of and um, this is what is happening for you at this time so um, be aware um, of a certain aspect of yourself and um, certain transition that is happening in your world and you will be perfectly aligned with yourself and this is going to be good okay so um Mm -mm -mm. let's move forward and see um, what else is happening for you guys and I'm, I'm so sorry because I need to, you to see this um, so I always take um, a picture so that you guys can see it so what is happening what else is happening um, in this month you need to remember that the obsolete is going to come after this because I forget to do that. Right. So let's see what you guys have from the orbs. Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael with Issa. Seem, um, Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael seems to be coming up. The color green is going to be your color for this one because Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, of abundance, but healing, uh, um, uh, chenazen, and that habit and that I said that about judgment is also Elin Archangel Michael is the protective angel with Issa okay and this is good because Issa people say Isa but it's Issa okay and they use her name for the wrong things on this planet okay so it is actually an ascendance master um, she is a goddess okay so um, yeah and I get very upset because they use her name just for the wrong reason on this planet for stupidity um, and this is it you know there is so many stupidity that is going on because this is a goddess and she is a very very um, she is so beautiful so good she came here for a positive reason to build this planet and they use her name in the wrong aspects and it's not very very nice okay um, let's see what the ascendance masters have I love her she is such a positive goddess and uh, Archangel Raphael and Archangel Michael learn um, these names and these the angels and the goddesses because it's gonna help you Lemurian Elin. Oh my gosh, this is like one of the most powerful cards in this deck. Lemurians were the fifth dimensional and or um, beam who loves and wanted to heal earth. They drew the love of God through the cosmic heart into the planet. The Lemurians gathered the divine quality from our energy field divine quality from our energy field and that of other stars adding this to pure source light in order to form healing crystals to help us through the transition to the new golden age the Lemurians then place these healing crystal in the earth to light up the lay lands now when two or more gathered with um, humanity to focus with these crystal powerful healing take place and your affirmation is I send Lemurian healing to hurt so if a group of people who listen to this video keeps on saying this affirmation three times it is so and it will be so you say I send Lemurian Elin to planet Earth. It is so and it will be. I send Lemurian Elin to planet Earth. It is so and it will be. I send Lemurian Elin to planet Earth. It is so and it will be. You are going to see that the consciousness, the raising of the consciousness and the energy vibration, the Lemurian Elin heals Mother Heart, Gaia, and Father Heart. Okay? So you're going to see a shift 
of energy on this planet in a positive way because as you said Elin to the planet um, people are yield okay and this is very good I always say it um, especially if I'm out at nights I always send Elin energy the Lemurian Elin energy to planet Earth and it cleanses the Earth energy you can also um, ask it to cleanse um, um, you know other things but the matter energies is also here so you can use the matter energy so let's see what Archangel Metatron have Archangel Metatron and Archangel Raziel and um, they use um, the sacred geometry let's see what they have conception conception this is good because it's number um, 16 concession and it goes the frequency of conception invites us to bring our consciousness to our original point the place where everything is created and beings it helps us to remember the infinity potential and possibilities of this space and what we can manifest through our own focus awareness and intuition so this is wonderful for you Pisces remember your color is going to be green um, this conception and this is really a Pisces card this is this is really something for the Pisces because you guys are um, governed during Neptune and Neptune is uh, an intuition planet that's where you work most of you um, 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 most of you um, Pisces work um, with the intuition this is wonderful this is positive this is good so um, this is a good good um, energy um, to have so I want to say to each and every person um, this is a positive month for you um, you need to use the energies and uh, use the mature energies I'm, I'm, I'm getting this because uh, um, use the mature energy so invoke the Mahatma energy that is M-A-T-H-M-A invoke the Mahatma energies to float you you and uh, surround you and uh, to float you your house and 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 all around you and this is going to be good so use the Mahatma energies okay I want to say to um, each and every one of you Pisces thank you for being here thank you for being back thank you for the support likes and shares remember to thumbs up like and share these videos and it's going to be a very very positive positive um, situation for you guys namaste until next time